Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for my January faves and fails. As always, I start out with the fails and the fail I want to talk about for January is this face wash. So I have been washing my face with Dove soap for a while, but it doesn't fully remove my makeup and I don't want an extra step before I get into the shower of using micellar water or whatever other cleanser to remove my makeup and then get in the shower and wash my face. I wanted a face wash that I could use in the shower to remove my makeup and then I'm quite happy to cleanse with a Dove soap after that. I don't mind a two-step process in the shower. I do sometimes use my Nove microfiber makeup cleansing cloth and it works amazingly well but you can't really use that on your eyes and I just wanted a cleanser that I could slather on my face and it would melt the makeup and rinse it off and then I could wash my face with soap. So I tried this one. It is the Garnier Skin Active. You can see there what it says. It is absolutely vile. It is like a milky creamy type of cleanser. I've got a full bottle left. It's like I've used up to there and I think it started out there. I'm not even going to finish using up this bottle. It goes on quite nicely, kind of what I wanted, like a creamy, milky cleanser. You put it on your face and then you rinse off, but it doesn't actually rinse off. It leaves this residue. It's kind of greasy, but it's just the worst texture. It feels almost like WD-40 on your face or like a silicon. It's just gross. It's so horrible. It doesn't even take the makeup off and it doesn't rinse off properly and then I have to use the Dove soap to cleanse the cleanser off my face, let alone the makeup. It's just horrible. I'm, like I said, I'm not even going to finish using it. It's, it's disgusting. I won't be repurchasing this and I do not recommend it. So moving on to my faves. The first fave I want to mention is a garden product and it is this. White's Hook and Loop Plant Thai. I've planted a lot of tomato plants, like over 50, and I've been buying rebar stakes so that I can reuse them year after year and they're not going to rot or break like bamboo canes would. But obviously I need something to fasten the tomato plant onto the rebar stake. And I did have some clips from the dollar store which were really good and I used that on as many as I could and then I went to repurchase because I ran out and they didn't have them anymore. So I had to look around and find an alternative. I did not want to be messing around with string and tying knots. And then when the plant grows, you either have to loosen the string or it's too loose to start with. Or it just, I didn't want to be doing string. So I found this at Bunnings. It says it secures plants, vines and branches for garden, home and craft use. Simply overlap to secure. This was, I think, $7.99. And there's 7.6 meters on there. So... It's basically Velcro tape, but it's so fine. It's not like if you do that, you can't, it doesn't feel like Velcro. It doesn't feel like hooky. It feels a bit rough on that side and very smooth on that side. It sticks amazingly. Like, look at this. If you just barely even touch it on there and it's stuck, you don't have to like rub it to hook. It's amazing. You can obviously reuse it. So I just cut a piece, wrap it around and fasten my tomato plants on. When they die, when it's the end of the season, I can pull all of those little tape bits off and reuse them again. This stuff is so good and I think it would be so good for more uses than just staking your tomato plants. Like it says, you can use it for home and craft. I think it would be good for tying cables, all sorts of things. And I like that it's on a roll so you can cut your pieces as long or short as you need. So, so good. Highly recommend. My next favorite is this garlic press from AliExpress. I mentioned this in my online shopping haul and I said in that video that I hadn't used it yet but I would report back on how it went. It is so good and so convenient. So you just cut your pieces of garlic if it's a big one or you can obviously do whole cloves if it's a smaller one and you just press this down on it and rock it back and forth. It shoves the garlic through the holes and minces it in one go. It's easy to clean because the holes are quite big. So you can just rinse it under the tap, put it in the dishwasher, or if they are a bit stuck, just a quick brush with a dishwashing brush and they come out. I like things that are just simple and they do their job well and this is one of them. I usually feature a food or drink that I've been enjoying and in the month of January to drink, I really enjoyed lemon balm tea. 
This is a tea that is highly recommended by the medical medium. I read his liver rescue book and Grant and I actually did the 369 liver cleanse and lemon balm tea featured quite heavily in that cleanse. We were having that every day and it wasn't a chore to have it. I realized I was really, really enjoying it and looking forward to it. I like it as much as I like peppermint tea. So that's something I've really been enjoying. We've gone through the whole box. We're just in these little packets. I've bought this on iHerb. I will link it down below. I haven't found it locally like a countdown. I haven't looked at Pack and Save or the health food store, but I'm ordering fairly frequently from iHerb anyway, so I just pick it up there. For food, my favorite snack has been caramel apples. They're not really caramel apples. They are apples sliced with dates on them, and it is so delicious, especially if you do like a sour green apple like a granny smith and then you have the sweet dates which taste like caramel so yummy i've been enjoying that most afternoons around about four o'clock i need a bit of a snack just to carry me through to dinner and it's refreshing it's crisp it's crunchy it's sweet so enjoyable really been liking that snack a song that i discovered in the month of January is by Rizzle Kicks and it's called Down With The Trumpets and I just really enjoy it. I'd never heard that song before. Last month I talked about Michael McIntyre's Send To All section of his show that he does that I was enjoying watching on YouTube and that's how I discovered the song. It was in one of those and it's just got such a punchy beat and it's just fun. When I first heard it I thought oh Grant would enjoy the song because he likes a song with a strong beat. I just really enjoyed that song and I wanted to mention it as a favorite. Okay, moving on to a couple of rebalance products or products that I sell in my store. So after the face wash fail, I wanted to try a different face wash and we carry Dr. Bronner's products and they're very popular. So I decided to try this, which is the 4-in-1 Sugar Soap. This is the big one. We have a smaller size as well. It says on it for hands, face, body and hair. So I thought I would try it as a face wash. I don't know why I was expecting a creamy cleanser, but it's actually, I don't know if it's gonna show. It's actually like this brown, almost syrupy liquid. I mean, it is genuinely a sugar soap. The ingredients are organic sucrose, organic white grape juice, organic coconut oil, organic palm kernel oil, potassium hydroxide, organic olive oil, organic tea tree oil, organic shikakai powder, organic hemp oil, organic jojoba oil, citric acid and tocopherol. So it is all certified organic and natural and there's no nasty chemicals and that really appeals to me because I'm trying to give my liver a break. There are some things I'm not willing to give up, like wearing perfume occasionally, or some of my cosmetics, or doing my gel nail polish from AliExpress, which I'm sure is awful for me, and soaking it off with acetone. So while there aren't things I'm willing to give up just yet, I just thought if I go as natural and chemical-free as possible, in other areas, it gives my liver enough of a break that it can cope with the things I'm not willing to give up. So that was one of my reasons why I wanted to try this. Also, I want to try the products that I sell. I don't just want to have them be a mystery and I sell them and I know nothing about them. So, put this into the shower. I chose the tea tree scent because I really like tea tree. I know not everybody does. It's kind of like a, a love-hate with the scent of tea tree, but I really like it. And tea tree is also good if you have any kind of acne or psoriasis or problems with your skin. So I put this in the shower and I thought I'll give this a go. I had a full face of makeup on and I squirted some in my hand and just like slathered it over my face. And then I rinsed my hands like before rinsing off my face and it felt almost a little bit oily and I was like, oh, I can't stand it when you rinse a product off and it leaves a residue, I hate that. So I kind of rinsed my hands and then I started rinsing my face. It washes off totally, like so cleanly that your skin is actually squeaky clean, like your fingers can squeak over your skin, but it doesn't strip your skin. It's got all these lovely natural oils in it and sugar apparently is a natural humectant. It draws moisture into the skin. And I don't know how it does it, but it completely cleanses my face of every residue of makeup or oil or sunscreen or anything rinses off thoroughly like squeaky clean but it leaves my skin feeling balanced and not stripped it's amazing and i actually look forward to washing my face every day like i know that sounds dumb but i do i ran out of hand soap in the kitchen and i've got the peppermint one in the kitchen 
to use as hand soap. You can apparently use it in your hair, but I haven't tried that. But now I know why Dr. Bronner's is so popular and I'll definitely continue using this. Well, partly because it's a massive bottle. This is a 710 ml bottle. I accidentally ordered them instead of the 355 ml. So I have a few of those in stock, which is why I grabbed the big one, even though I didn't know if I was gonna like the product or not. But I absolutely love it. Another product in our store that I tried and have absolutely been loving is this. It's All Good Natural Cream Deodorant. This one's quite popular as well. I had little samples and I gave one to my friend and she tried it and she loved it and came back for more so I thought I'd give it a go. We've got three different scents. We have cypress and lemon which is this one which is like a unisex one. We have lavender and we have bergamot and lemon and I just like this one because it's kind of fresh. It's got a hint of lemon to it. I just really like the scent. It doesn't actually smell on you so once you have the deodorant on you're not going to smell it throughout the day. It is a cream like this. You just apply it with your fingertips. And I will admit I didn't have a lot of high hopes for it. I've been thinking about trying a natural deodorant for a while, but I've never actually done it because I've heard mixed reviews about natural deodorants and I've heard or seen online people trying multiple different deodorants to find one that works for them. And I just wasn't motivated, I guess, to go through them. But when my friend said this one's really good, I decided to give it a go. It is really good. It goes on smoothly. It's got like, um, it's got natural essential oils in, which makes the scent. It's not like got any chemicals or anything. It's got baking soda in. So it almost feels a little bit oily, but also a little bit powdery. It I know that doesn't make sense, but you put it on and it kind of dries and you're not left feeling sticky or greasy or anything. It leaves you immediately feeling more comfortable than a roll-on does. The ingredients are organic butters of shea and coconut, sodium bicarbonate, which is baking soda, arrowroot, essential oils of cypress and lemon. So I guess those are really basic ingredients you may have in the kitchen. You could probably make your own. But I like the convenience of a little tin and that it's just, you know, pre-made. And it just works really, really well. I was surprised at how well it works. It's not and antiperspirant so if you really sweaty and you sweat a lot maybe it's not for you i don't sweat a ton but it has been so hot and so humid i'm actually filming this in the guest house because of the air conditioner <laughs> because it's been so warm here although i had to turn it off to film and it's getting pretty hot again but i have been sweating i'm not like a sweaty person but it's been sweaty weather and I don't smell even by the end of the day even after doing DIY or gardening or doing something really active and working out and sweating I don't smell it it works really well in that regard that it is a deodorant and you're not going to smell if you use it so really been enjoying that I like switching to more natural things slowly as I said as I'm willing to and it's a relief to know that that's one more thing I can check off my list that I'm not putting chemicals onto my body Okay, it's a million degrees in here. I'm probably sweating and glowing and so I'm going to end this video here. I hope you enjoyed watching and I would love to know what you've been enjoying during the month of January. As always, everything linked down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.